guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to do something for just a little fun. Um, it is a um, mom tag, and it's called Mom Tag 2.0, and it's just a bunch of random questions. Um, there's 20 questions, so I'm going to try to get through these pretty fast. I have three children. My oldest is seven. I have a four and a half year old and a one year old. Um, my proudest moment as a mom, um, I have quite a few, but the most recent would be um, um, I was feeling like my preschooler wasn't getting the concept of um, the letters and how to write things. And we were outside playing with chalk and she said, Mom, I wrote your name. And she wrote M-O-M on the sidewalk. So I was like, okay, something, something's clicking somewhere. My most frustrating moment as a mom. Man, there's so many. Um, <laughs> it just happens. Um, but probably the most frustrating would be that fact that I have to tell my kids the same thing over and over and over, it feels like. Like, in one day, I can probably tell them 20 times to do the same thing. And it's just like, it doesn't click. And so I'm just constantly feeling like I'm talking to myself. Um, disciplining, we, um, we choose to um, take away privileges or things. Um, and um, sometimes time out. Um, we very rarely spank, like, it's, it's the last resort. Um, maybe just a few times since we've been parents. Um, our, our first choice for discipline would be um, the taking away privileges. It seems to kind of get the picture across. Um, I don't really curse. Um, in front of my kids, maybe um, I probably have said um, D-A-M-N maybe. But um, other than that, I don't really um, swear at all, um, and especially in front of my kids. The worst I probably get is crap. Um, I don't feel like our relationship has changed. Um, I feel like we, um, we're, we're still pretty the same. Um, we don't get to talk as much as we used to because the kids are just always there and always talking, and then by the time it's time for bed, we're just exhausted. So, um, I don't feel like we probably talk as much, but, um, I don't feel like it's really changed our relationship. Uh, I noticed my mother come out of my mouth a lot lately. Um, I tend to, my parenting style is totally different than my mom, but, um, I do tend to see, um, some characteristics coming out of myself, um, that remind me a bit of, um, my mom. Um, I don't really have a whole lot of girlfriends. Um, being a stay-at-home mom, not working outside the home, and homeschooling, um, I just, I don't get out a lot with adults, period. Um, and so that kind of puts a damper on making some deep friendships. Um, I do have a couple friends at church, and I have some friends that, um, long distance from just different aspects of my life. Um, but as far as a friendship, to just, or as far as a friend to just go get coffee or go get manicures or something. Not really. Um, I don't have somebody that is like a super deep friendship. Um, and it, it does bother me sometimes. I mean, I would like to have something like that. But um, for now, in this um, aspect of my life, um, or time in my life, I guess, it's, it's just it's not something that is happening right now. Um, and I'm okay with that. Um, we like to travel, um, so probably anywhere in the U.S. that, um, would be fun. Um, we travel a lot, and we're hoping to, um, do even more traveling. Um, we like to camp, so, um, really anywhere just to relax or vacation would probably be my favorite place to take the kids. Um, least favorite place to take my kids? Um, shopping. My kids are pretty good kids, I'll be honest, but take them into the store and they just turn a switch, like I don't know what happens. Um, but I try to avoid taking them to the store if at all possible because 
I turn into that lady that you're staring at going, what is wrong with her kids? Because, yeah, I don't, I don't know why. Um, we chose not to pierce our girls' ears as babies just because I wanted them to have the option if they wanted to. Um, if they didn't want to, it was fine. Um, but I want them to have the option to choose. And also because I wanted them to learn the responsibility that comes with it and to clean it themselves and, um, just learn, um, all of that responsibility as well. We actually just pierced our oldest earrings for her seventh birthday and she's actually doing very well at remembering to clean them and taking care of them. Um, I don't really have a skincare product actually. Um, for the most part, I just I forget to do stuff and so if I don't have something quick and easy, I just don't. So right now I have just some facial cloths from Walmart that I'm using um, in the evenings. But I do need to um, find something that's a little more for aging skin because I'll be honest, the 30 years coming up here is starting to show. Um, for my kids, um, they just use whatever shampoo I have in the shower, and um, we use Dr. Bronner's um, soap for their bath. Um, makeup, I don't wear a ton of makeup. Um, my most used item, or favorite item, would probably just be lipstick because that's probably the only makeup item I wear on a regular basis. Um, I'm fairly light skinned, and if I don't wear lipstick, my face just looks super washed out. Um, so that would be my, um, probably the top item or item that I would use the most. Um, I don't really wear, um, foundation or anything unless church or special occasions. Definitely bath. Um, I like my mom time. Um, I have been a bath person as long as I can remember. As a teenager, I used to get the Reader's Digest and go and sit in the bath for hours at a time. Uh, I don't know why, I just it's just something I've always done. And so now, um, as a mom, um, I use that time just to be not a mom. Um, I will, once my kids are ready for bed, uh, my husband does the bedtime routine and I just disappear in my bath with um, either a book or lately he's just been watching my Netflix movies because I don't have time to catch up on those during the day. Pre-baby weight, probably, <laughs> depends which kid you're talking about. Um, I was super skinny before we had kids, and I will probably never get back to that weight, and I'm okay with that. Because things shift, and even if I went back to that weight, I still wouldn't look the same. Um, so, no, I'm not back to my pre-baby weight. But, um, as far as my last baby, I'm actually up a couple of pounds from pre-baby weight with him. Um, he is just now starting to wean, and so I'm hoping to really knock that out now because I just don't lose weight when I'm nursing. I just haven't with any of my kids. Um, if they want to go to college, that's, um, that's something I will support. Um, if not, that's fine too. Um, I didn't go to college because I felt like it just wasn't something I wanted. I didn't want to be a career person and so I didn't and I really enjoy just being a mom. I like what I do. It, it's just what I was made for. Um, but if, if there's something that they really feel they want to go for, um, I would support college 100%. I would support not college. I mean, no college, I guess. Jeez, I need more coffee today. Um, so, yeah, um, it's really up to the child. Um, a show that I can't stand. Um, there's a lot of them. I don't like Peppa Pig. I feel like they are very crude and vulgar. Um, I just, I just, I don't know, I just don't like it. Um, I don't let them watch it very often because I just don't care for it. Um, and there's also some British shows on Netflix that my kids keep finding, and I don't know why, but they just drive me crazy. I hate it. I also hated Dora. We're kind of over the Dora stage now, but um, Dora used to just drive me insane. Oh, and on Chuggington. I don't mind Chuggington, but the one train, Emery, his horn just drives me nuts. Like, what is with that? Um, yes, we cloth diaper. We have cloth diapered all three of our kids um, pretty much full time. The only time we use disposables is either um, traveling or with my third now. Um, we haven't been able to successfully cloth diaper at night, so we use disposables at night. 
But um, other than that, we have cloth diapered for seven years on and off um, with all three of our children. Um, I highly recommend it. It is a huge money saver for us. Um, I don't mind the extra laundry or folding. Um, it's just kind of been part of my mom life right now. Um, I just I don't think about it. I just think about the money I have saved over the course of three children. Okay, so you know you're a mom when your hair is always pulled back because you just don't have time to straighten it or curl it. Um, let's see, your coffee is always cold, your food is always cold because you're just always the last one to eat. Um, oh my, there's just so many of them. Um, I don't know, I'm pretty crafty and so um, I like to try anything once. Um, I'll see something and I'll be like, I can make that myself. So um, if I have a moment to myself to try to craft something or um, I like to scrapbook, um, things like that, um, probably the most, the most thing that I do the most often um, is, like I said earlier, just my baths um, to just kind of be away from everybody else and not have to be a mom for a moment. Um, I don't really like to shop. Um, I, if I shop, I have to be looking for something specific. I don't like to just wander around aimlessly. Um, I need to have a mission in mind. So um, shopping is not really something that I um, that I would use my free mom moments for. Um, so it's probably something um, where I'm just by myself alone um, for just a few moments. Um, that would probably be my favorite mom moments. Um, so thank you um, for watching today. Um, I hope you enjoy getting to know me a little better. Um, um, if you haven't already, hit the red subscribe button. And um, I will catch you next time.